Well, it's been a very good morning so far. So rather than try to be coy and create an impression that does not really exist, I'm gonna get right back, get right to the point and show what I have found. Crap. First rule of life is to clear away everything that just doesn't matter. kind of making this up as I go. I just got back from a shopping trip. Got some cool stuff. All right. So wait, there is something. I don't like it. There was one more thing I wanted, and it's not making itself apparent. I don't see my buck knife that I just bought. But that's kind of the biggest problem with a buck knife because it's so small and it's so easily, well, here you are. I'm back. This is a buck knife and it is similar to what my grandfather gave me when I was a child. So, when I was brought to the hospital, 
unfortunately for me, my buck knife had to be confiscated. I need to bite earplugs. Ooh, I need to bite earplugs. So my buck knife was confiscated. And I finally have it back. These are the little pins to the little wheels and the little screwdriver that go to the Ford Econoline delivery van. We'll move you. Pins, axles. I just wanted to get the length of the axles. Shelby. Ooh. Wow, this is a funny looking vehicle. It looks like a robot. I thought this was absolutely the strangest. It's a Rock'em Sock'em robot. I love Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Mm. Hobby knife, I can put this to the side. This is for cutting paper from the roll. Okay. Colors of the World crayons have become so popular that they are literally selling out in the stores. And if you're ever wondering why you don't see more graphic novels that have brown skin characters, it's because there is a real dearth of colors, really. Literally, there's a dearth of colors. I mean, if you go to a store and you go to look at the colored pencils, you see a color spectrum that looks more like this. This is much more the color spectrum of most colored pencils in the store. But when it comes to skin tones, no one's ever really bothered to get the skin tones of people this year. So, Crayola is the first company I'm aware of to ever make color pencils in the skin colors of people. So now I need to get another pencil box. So you have got to see these colors. There is now no more excuse to say, I couldn't get the right skin color to draw that person. That's just too impressive for words.
All right. Robots. Okay. So look what else I found. I didn't get to confirm because it was in the package. Whether or not this is made of silk or chiffon. Or like a poly chiffon. But this is a scarf. Hmm. Well, it looks to me... Cotton poly scarf. Good place to start if you've never touched silk before. And why does that matter? If you've ever seen yuzu watercolor, they look like that. Which is why I had to grab this in the store because an American or a European would not see this for what it is. This is like the way real watercolors are made in Japan. It's like you you would be able to take this out and stick it in a dish and add a little bit of water. In fact, Just so you get it, these actually are Japanese. Because we are Americans, it is our instinct to just take a brush and put it in here directly. Obviously, I almost never use the color green because yellow and blue make green. You're supposed to take these out. You're supposed to take these out. See, it doesn't matter. This has not seen water, which is why it looks like this. But it doesn't matter because it's watercolor, and you're supposed to add water to watercolor. So... That is irrelevant. You're supposed to take these out and put these in a dish or use these. Mm -mm -mm. Take out the ones you need. Come on. It's like... A childhood of training in Crayola prepares you to do exactly this. These would go on this, the part that people never see. And this is how the work gets done. This looks like a tray of jars. This is not a tray of jars. This is water. This is a sponge. Paintbrush. Instant coffee to get those brown tones. Ink. The leftover bits of ink from before that have been added to water. So this is liquefied ink. This is the kind of watercolor you're used to seeing. Gouache. Earplugs. Pencil. What do you have here? Palette. Do you see it now? So basically what you're supposed to do is take your paintbrush, stick it in water, and you take what you need from here. That way you mix your colors on the palette and get an infinite array. And that's why this matters. Because this is a much more compact version 
of what was made in, I think this is 15th century Japan. This has got to be like 15th century Japan, right? Where's my receipt? All right, Walmart, Liberty Road. Let's see, two journals. Craft knife. Where is that watercolor? Hmm, I paid for two ribbons and I think I only got one. Oh no, wait, they put back one of them, good. Chicken, Doritos, Princess. Where's the watercolor? Okay, the most expensive thing here is the calculator? No. 18 colors. $10. Okay, so the difference is this. This is a stripped palette of Japanese colors. Technically, this is ink. This is not watercolor. These are... I don't think Dollar Rowney, no, this is Royal Langnickel. I don't think this is American. I don't know the source yet. I've never used these watercolors before. But these are good for experiments if you've never done it before, if you've never done Yuzu before. So this is $10, and this is like $5. So for $15, I get to work on a prototype of Yuzu using all the other tools that are currently here. Because when I get paid, I can buy another box of this. After years and years of years of training on Crayola watercolors. Because if you look at them, the way you've tried to, if you've ever tried to use one and then the next, use them together or use them in sequence, you'll notice that Crayola watercolor acts like that. I mean, it behaves like Japanese paint. But it's only $3. Okay. Normally I would be painting today instead of doing an unboxing, but this is the most important unboxing that I have ever done. And painting? Painting is going to have to wait for a few days because I have to do a lot of sewing. I have to do a lot of sewing. And I have to reorganize my $1 pencil boxes. Because right now it's time for back to school. So I need to go to a Joanne Fabric and get a couple of these, even though I hate these. I would much rather have like a wooden case that is the right size to hold absolutely everything. But I don't have that option right now. I have to make the make do with the best that I have available. So this is gonna be emptied. And my colored pencils are all gonna go in this because this is for holding pencils. And I need to get one together for crayons and another for oil pastels and another for soft pastels. Organization. Organization and then sewing and then preparing for my first delivery because it's gotten to be about that time for that delivery van to start rolling. <laughs> 
But I never do anything without a lot of research first.